Okay, so here we have Ravel and Poulenc. This is this is when stuff starts to get real weird and real fun, and I'm here for it. Okay, so Ravel. One of the things you have to know about Ravel right away is that he's very much based on the poetry. So when you do when you sing Ravel, most composers in French they're going to voice the last the last schwa. Um, I don't know. Let's ouvre, ouvre ton coeur. That's a ouvre ton coeur. But if you were just speaking it, you would just say ouvre ton coeur. You, I don't know, Carly, you can correct it, or Jean, you can correct it. But you, you don't voice that second syllable when you an ouvre, if you're just speaking, and when you sing Ravel, you don't pronounce it either. He is the anomaly there, but it's more true to how um, the language is. Okay, let's see, that's Poulenc. Raphael writes some crazy stuff. It's just crazy. It's wild. Um, pretty sure it's somewhat drug-induced. He was brilliant. It's avant-garde. Um, and it's gonna be hard. It's always, Ravel is always gonna be hard. He does a lot of stuff that um, I really like. I gave Kira his Five Great Melodies, that song cycle, which is one of my favorites. There is there is this exoticism that happens in uh, a lot of French stuff. It happens in other things too, because Puccini uses exoticism, which is just really just taking kind of the musics from different cultures cultural appropriation but like not in like a bad way but maybe also a little bit because if you've ever heard um i don't know whatever puccini's western is mm, it's it's weird i guess maybe think people think of turin dot the same way i don't know but the puccini's western's weird uh okay so exoticism because the world's fair comes in the early 1900s to paris and everybody starts to see these things and this was a huge influencer on on wc because we start to get different scales and we get to different tonalities and things just start to pick up different things so ravel does some of that so we only have um one piece of ravel that we're doing again his five greek melodies are one of my favorites but i'm just skipping over that this is one of, this is the drinking song from his Don Quixote, which is Don Quixote and Dulcinea, and this is his drinking song. It's big. This is a great song cycle for baritones. Javon, this is right up your alley. Okay, so we'll just listen to a little bit of Velt. This is short. A lot of his stuff is short. A lot of the later French stuff gets short. <laughs> It's fun. I think there's like five songs and the um, five songs maybe. He also has like a whole set of uh, animal songs because I told you, I promised you all the animal songs. You're gonna get it. Um, what is it? Oh, there's only three songs. Yeah, three songs. This is a lot of Spanish. It's like Spanish exoticism mixed into this. We get it. So he, yeah. Don't pronounce the final schwa for Ravel. Make sure if you do Ravel that your pianist can play. And if you're singing Ravel, make sure you can count because it's not going to be easy. And it's a good time once it sets in. Like, it's super color like super colorful. There's texture, there's color, there's fun, 
fun rhythms, usually like fun, fun subject matter. It's a good time for all as long as you're a good musician. Okay, moving on to Poulenc. Poulenc is, um, people say he's the last great genre. He's the last great composer of the melody. Maybe, I guess, sure. Somebody wants to say that, sure. Most of his songs were written for Pierre Bernac as like concert stuff. He wrote like 150. Bernac is a big deal. He wrote this little baby book, The Interpretation of French Songs, which the last, um, the last uh, two chapters of this is what the test is on. The final test that I will end up sending to you probably today, trying to get better copies of it. It's just kind of hard to get clean, clean pictures of the book. So he wrote for Bernac. He wrote in all kinds of subjects. A lot of his stuff is just, it's real weird in the best possible way. He wrote some like serious music, like the like the bridge or the say, say. That's a bit like C-E, that's what it's called. Or se, say, se, I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong, forgive me. That one's serious, but the, a lot of the other ones are not so serious. His song, Hotel, which is one of my favorite, which is about just a prostitute laying in bed, smoke a cigarette, doesn't want to go to work. She wants to lay in bed. I get that. Well, not really, but like I do. Um, so we're going to listen to my favorite, Le Dromedaire, which is the camel. Told you there would be French songs about animals. This is from Le Bessier. I feel so self-conscious speaking French. When I know Carla's gonna watch this, but defer to her for her French pronunciation. I can sing in French, don't speak so well. So this is about a camel. There's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of little things. Like this song's only a minute and twenty seven seconds. There's a dolphin in this one. Le dromadaire. Yes, that's Bernac right there talking. He's doing it. Le dromadaire. Le dromadaire. So this is a camel crossing the desert. So the piano is kind of matching this camel just like trotting through. You can feel like it's probably hot. The camel's not in a rush. talking about the the explorer or whatever you want to call him that's on the camel and he's like very like whoa I'm I'm important I'm making a journey and the camel's like trotting along I paused it just because the best is at the end <laughs> have that tag on I don't know because Poulenc is Poulenc and that's what he does stuff like that it's fun yeah so there's a camel there's um oh the the, the carp the dolphin the Tibetan goat the grasshopper the crayfish he has a little song about all of them and musically he makes the piano sound like whatever that animal is he's going to be very He's gonna do, he's really gonna bring the poetry to life. He's big on that. Again, it's all a little tongue in cheek and we love that. Poulenc isn't gonna write about like, like loving somebody and then like be so like heart sick that you die. No, he's gonna write a song about a crayfish 
and the song about a dolphin. And that's what he kind of does. Again, he wrote a whole bunch, 150 melodies, the stuff just like Ravel, you better have a pianist that can play, oh my God, because Poulenc, especially Poulenc, it's so hard. Some of his song cycles are, oh my God, it's more work for the pianist than it is a singer. And, and it's a lot of work for a singer. So, oh yeah, and what's it, Leo's doing the, the Picasso pieces. So yeah, we have Ravel, we have Poulenc, they're fun, they're interesting, they're quirky, but you also have to count. Okay, we love that. Now, till next time.